Hey, what is going on, cowpokes, and welcome back to 10 insane details and secrets you probably didn't know in Red Dead Redemption 2. All them years, Dutch, for this snake. Oh, Starting off with this first detail, when you go to the prison to rescue John with Sadie, you'll run into this guard who you'll have to hold as hostage to work your way up to the gates of the prison. On the way there, he'll mention the owner of the prison, who happens to be named Heston Jameson. If at this point Arthur has never met him, he will mention to Milliken that he looks forward to meeting him. But there is a secret dialogue if you have already met him. And where you can meet him is during the mayor's party if you accompany Dutch and listen in on the conversation. With him. Who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. Pain, sir. Well, hello, gentlemen. Featherstone Chambers. Pleased to meet you. Heston James. I run a prison. You should see my prison. That's what law and order looks like. Hopefully as a visitor, not as an inmate. <laughs> Indeed. Well, enjoy the rest of your evening, sir. Who's in charge of this fine establishment? Mr. Jameson? Sir? Jameson? Heston Jameson? Yes. Not his brother, Archibald. He owns the mine. Up in Hansburg. Ah. My god, what a family. Yes. He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I'm sure. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Another detail regarding Mr. Jameson is that in the epilogue, if you enter into the Blackwater Jail, you can actually find a bounty poster on the wall saying that he is worth $200 to be turned in. Respect. This does not specify if dead or alive, nor does it specify the crime he committed, but it's still inter interesting to see that of his opinion on law and being so strict with it to ending up living as a criminal. In the previous clip shown, if you had already met Heston Jameson during the dialogue with Milliken, he'll mention that his brother Archibald owns the mine in Annisburg. And if you head there into the main street, you can see Archibald's name on the front face of the building. Besides owning the mines, during the wagon robbery with Bill, if you look on the side face of the wagon, you can see Archibald Jameson's name written boldly on there, indicating that he also owns all of the equipment and supplies that go into the mine. If you are faced away from your horse when calling it, Arthur will turn into the direction of which it is approaching you over his shoulder. Another really cool detail that a lot of people may not have noticed is that if you shoot an arrow over a light source or next to a lantern, you can see the shadow cast away from it and how also the shadow perfectly reflects the physics of the arrow as it sways from side to side after landing in an object.
While riding out on the foothills of the East Grizzly Mountains, you can see a building with a sign for the state of Amberino shown over the train tracks. Mm -hmm. If you ever notice somebody sweeping in the game, if you take a closer look you can see just how advanced the physics are in the process of sweeping. The bristles actually move back and forth while I'm pushing dirt up off of the ground. And something else that I've noticed is that the person who is sweeping will stop if you move in front of them or too close to them so that way they don't throw the dust on you. There are many traps and ambushes that the Murphys may set out for you when you're riding around in Roanoke Ridge, but this is one of them where one will pretend that he has smallpox reeling you in so that way they can perform the ambush. You trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit you was. I hope you move fancy boots. Unlike you, I was honorable. Lousy oh, bastards. If you're in the middle of a hand-to-hand -hand combat fight with anybody in the game, if you continuously hold up your hands to block the attacks, it will actually drain your stamina. And for this final detail, after returning back home to camp from watching Como Driscoll be executed, Tilly will approach Arthur to actually hand him a piece of toilet paper. How you get on, Arthur? Well, we saw the bastard hang okay, but the whole thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur. Wake him up a little! Forgive me? There's some folks who don't deserve it.